What's going on, collectors? So I thought I'd tie this particular video into a video I did last week, which were these uh, MC toy cars. And their connection to Maisto. Because some of the castings are identical and were purchased by Maisto or continued by Maisto. I said, I don't know the financials of those companies, but there's a long history of die cast car companies. Um, you know, taking on prior castings from other die cast car companies. So I want to start here, or basically show this here, which is a Mercedes transporter which is really actually quite nice. And uh, if you watch some of my old videos, I did the uh, big dump <laughs> dump truck video, which uh, truthfully did that after having a couple of uh, adult beverages. It's a brief video, but a, a fun video. Um, I bought those at the same time. Same day. So a nice transporter. It's got a metal lower portion here. You know, the, the bottom. This part's metal here where my hands are. And the cab is metal. It's quite nice. Quite detailed. But the upper uh, part of the transport is plastic. But a pretty cool vehicle nonetheless. And I have a few transporters in my collection. But um, I would like to add more. I do have a really uh, beautiful older Corgi larger scale transporter, which I'll probably show down the road. But um, a very nice model, very realistic looking. Maybe except for that, but um, so anyways, I mean, you have a transporter. You gotta have some cars to transport. So maybe it's a Mercedes. We would never see these in the in the US. You know. But in Europe, probably very common. And I was looking at a lot of the uh, Maestos that I dug out of the case where these old uh, guys came from. And um, I was looking for something where the scale seemed to be appropriate. And I actually found these three Ford Explorers. So imagine if Ford was uh, sending some cars over to Europe you know, for the European market. Well, I don't know if these seem like, I don't know, any of you, uh, any of you collectors over there in uh, Europe, I don't know if you ever saw anything like this uh, on the roads, because these are monsters, but um, good models. So, we're actually going to start with this one here, 
which is a, these are all Maestos, by the way. But this one actually's got the weird graphics. It also says Tonka. And I love my Tonka trucks and stuff, but they did uh, do some later sort of uh, Maisto and other castings, I believe, that were you know basically 164 scale cars. So the least favorite of my three, that's a nice casting. Got suspension. Tan interior, but the graphics are, you know, you know, not my favorite. So let's park that thing up in the old uh, transporter here. But I got two older versions of the Explorer. Look at this nice uh, metallic green one. Quite nice. Very basic. Nothing weird going on with the uh, the graphics or anything, but just a nice, honest, simple uh, toy car. Which I think a lot of us uh, adult collectors really like. Then my more my I like that one quite a bit, but I like this one even more. Maybe because it's the, the two tone. Got a black base. Here's a look at the base, by the way. Probably be better if I uh, held it the right way. Nice red with a tan uh, portion down below, tan interior. Nice, very nice. And basically, since I uh, was digging out the transporters, the Maestos, pretty cool. I said maybe Ford theoretically tried to um, send a bunch of these gas guzzling uh, Fords over there to Europe. Probably didn't happen, but who knows? Like I said, it's all about the die cast, my friends. It's all about the die cast. Thanks for watching.